Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you Out of the Ashes by Ari McKay, published by Dream Spinner Press, part of their Dream Spun Beyond series. I've kind of fallen in love with the Dream Spun Beyond series, like they're paranormal short stories that are just full of like impact and fun. And sometimes they're just like freaky and wonderful. Whenever I'm like, I think I'm in the mood for werewolves today. It's like a quick place to go to find a really good werewolf story or vampires or whatever. This book has like a plethora of paranormal characters. So I was beyond happy with that. The premise of the story is that we have Eli Hammond, who is an alpha werewolf. And he kind of leaves his pack for a small fishing trip that he does annually. It's his one time to like be alone, not have to have the burdens of anybody else on him. He just goes, fishes, relaxes, comes back and does whatever he needs to do. This time when he comes back, there's members of his pack that are murdered and the rest are missing. And he can smell a neighboring pack in his area. So he goes to a local council to ask for help. These people in this council have had like nothing to fear for a very long time. They're very comfortable, uppity. Why should we get involved in this? There's like one person on the council that says, I will help you. Arden Gilmarin, he is half elven and he can just feel the pain that's coming off of Eli and maybe a little bit more. So he calls on two of his buddies to help him out so that they can figure out exactly what is going on. Why was his pack attacked? Why were some killed and why were some taken? So he calls on Julian, who is a vampire, and Whimsy, who is a warlock. Now these people have been friends forever, alive forever. They have uh, formed a special bond, a friends with benefits situation between the three of them. The three of them can be together, it can just be two of them, however, whatever. But now we have Eli. And Eli is, I need to find my pack, but he can also feel the mate pull to Arden. And he keeps telling himself, I'm not doing anything until I know what's happened to my pack and I bring those that are missing home. But the pull gets stronger and stronger. They go to Arden's father, who is a great seer, for any sort of premonition, what is happening? And nothing good comes out of this. Whimsy, Arden, and Eli go and investigate Eli's pack and the grounds and the houses and then they take a walk to the other pack and along the way the atmosphere changes it goes from calm and serenity and love and just everything that a pack should hold near and dear to dark and sinister and dirty and it really takes a hold of whimsy and the things that Arden and Eli find when they get to the next pack's territory horrifying and once the evidence is gathered once they're back into a better environment and Julian shows up and they can all just kind of talk about what is happening and they realize what they're dealing with. Maybe stealing the mate bonds will make everything stronger, make them stronger, make this whole situation better, or it could be a distraction. I mean, we have something very, very powerful that has wreaked havoc on two packs and it's on the move. Eli is bound and determined to hunt them down. And once he gets Arden on board, Arden and his friends are bound and determined. Eli talks a friend and his pack into helping out. And we're slowly gathering more people that want to take this darkness and this evil and like rip it off the face of the earth. And we have this mate bond. Should a werewolf mate with somebody that's not a werewolf? He's half elven, how is this going to work? Plus, my whole pack's missing. I got better things I should be thinking about right now than this delicious piece of ass. So there's a lot going on, but at the same time, Ari McKay does this wonderful, fantastic job of writing this story that I was enthralled by the pages. And it really put me in the paranormal mood. I think I read like three more paranormal books right after this. Like I could not get out. It was so good. I am giving Out of the Ashes by Ari McKay five stars. I loved the characters. I loved getting to know the characters. And even though this was a short story, we got enough details that I could form the characters in my mind. I could see how they looked, how they acted, their demeanor get a real feel for them and the connections between the characters. The love and the strength and the bond between Arden's parents and then Arden to his parents, Arden to Whimsy and Julian, 
Like even though they're friends with benefits, just the strong friendship bond they have going between them. Eli and his need to find his pack, like he's an alpha. How can he still be an alpha without a pack? Like there's so much torment going on in him and just remorse and regret for taking his annual fishing trip. What would have happened had he stayed home? And then the mate bond. I mean, they both feel it. It's going both ways. When you have Arden that's used to being fun and fancy free with his sex life, now it's all I want is this man. But we have the world to save and save it they must. So what I am going to do for you is I'm going to leave the Dream Spinner and Amazon links down below so you can click it and to be on your way. If you've enjoyed this review, I'm going to ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm recovering from surgery number two of this year and I honestly don't know when new content will come out and that is the magic of the subscribe button is that you will get a notification when I have something new for you. If you like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, down below I'm going to leave stalker links aplenty. Go click investigate enjoy. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read or some light editing proofreading you would like done, you may request via website. Out of the Ashes by Ari McKay, published by Dream Spinner Press, part of their Dream Spun Beyond series. Five stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you Rooms and Jewels by Tara Lane, published by Dream Spinner Press. This is part of their Dream Spun Beyond series. And it's a retelling of Romeo and Juliet, but with werewolves. Tara Lane also did a retelling of Sabrina with Return of the Chauffeur's Son, and it was like so good. So when I saw this, I was like, 